Tonight, Macomb County Commission is asking questions about Mark Hackle the, for hiring a former employee as a consultant weeks after she had left the job. 7 Action News reporter Jane Park has the story now from Mount Clemens. When county commissioners saw the executive office's budget this week, something didn't pass the smell test. A contract with a former employee who left nearly months ago. And now they're asking, was this a sweetheart deal? There's some tension brewing between Macomb County's executive and legislative arms surrounding a former employee and her new role as a contracted consultant. Until the end of March, Melissa Roy was an assistant executive with the county who was regularly involved in issues related to the Great Lakes Water Authority, regional transit, the Detroit Zoo, and more. Deputy Executive Mark Delden says Mark Hackle hired her firm, Roy PR Management, so she could continue to provide her expertise. He didn't want to lose that knowledge. Um, so he retained her as a consultant. Commissioner Kathy Bosberg sees red flags with a $6,000 a month contract. When I saw that, I thought for the amount that was being paid, I was wondering why the person was not still an employee because it's comparable to you know somebody's salary. When you take her salary and benefits and everything, you roll it up, we were paying double that amount as an employee. Delden says their office didn't violate any policies awarding the contract. There was no overlap between Roy's employment and the start of the contract, and that hiring her firm was a smart financial move. And he says the commission's questioning smells like political posturing. We, we don't know what else it could be, but it's a, in, in our mind, it's a childish attempt to try to embarrass the most uh, popular elected official in all of Macomb County government. Commissioner Vosberg says they're just doing their due diligence, making sure there's transparency when it comes to spending taxpayer dollars. It's budget time, and that's what we do. The county board must vote on all contracts over $35,000, but there's an exemption for the executive's office. Commissioners say they will now be reviewing that policy in their ongoing budget process. In Mount Clemens, Jane Park, 7 Action News.